In today's video, we're going to see if this computer can use the internet. This is a uh, Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz computer with hyperthreading. And I got this back in 2005. So uh, let's see what it can do in terms of uh, what it could do on the internet. And this is the specs for the computer. As you can see, a Pentium 4 3.0 gigahertz. And this is a socket 478. I bought this computer back in 2005. It has a GeForce 6800 GT with 256 megabytes. AGP. RAM is 2 gigabytes of DDR. I think that's DDR1. Storage is 80 gigabytes and 160 gigabyte hard drive, so two hard drives. Operating system is Windows XP, S SP2, audio is Sound Blaster Audigy, optical is a DVD RW. So that's the display uh, driver, that's the display card, sorry video card. Here's the CPU. And this is Windows XP. SP Service Pack 2. 2 gigabytes of RAM. Let's see what it can actually do on the internet. So what I had to do first was I had to uh, adjust the time because the time wasn't correct. I had to go here and adjust the time to today's date. Before that, the time was uh, January 2005, so I couldn't use the internet because the time wasn't synchronized. Now it is, so I should be able to do that. Yes, I could, I could use it for the internet. It is working. It is working. So I'm going to go to a website. And let's see what it could do actually on a website. See the performance of this. This is, I think the, this processor came out in 2004, but I bought this computer in 2005, so technically it's 21 years old. I did upgrade the graphics card. The one that I had in initially was a GeForce, I think it was a 5900 XT with 128 megabytes of video RAM. And the RAM that it came with when I got it was only um, about 512. I think it was one gigabyte, I think. Two sticks of uh, 512 DIMMs. And I had one hard drive in there, which was only 80 gigabytes. And I added another one. And, um, let's see what it can do. Let's see. I can navigate the site. Dang, it is really using up a lot of CPU usage just by going here. This is not secure, by the way, because this operating system is not supported. But on this computer, I don't have anything important. So even if it gets hacked, I don't. I don't really care. There's, there's really nothing in here that is valuable. But I'm able to. Go to this website. It does scroll just fine, no problems. Let me see if I can go on my website and see if it works.
it is working. It's quite slow though. It is very slow. Extremely slow. It's very, very slow. At a hundred percent, look at that. Ninety one percent. Let's see if I could go on YouTube with this. Nope, I can't. <laughs> I can't because this browser is outdated. So I can't do that. Let's see again. Let's see if I could go on Yahoo. Oh, it really does use up a lot of CPU power. This is very, very outdated. It takes a while for it to load as well. Look how it navigates. I could technically browse the internet, but it is very slow. I can use the internet. Can I can? Let's see. Let's try eBay. I can go on eBay. Yeah, I could definitely browse through here. It does. It does work. can't see anything Try Amazon.
hundred percent. Wow. That's the RAM usage right there. It's not using up all two gigabytes. So that's the RAM that's available. There's a lot of things that this old computer cannot do. It's extremely slow, by the way. At least I could view everything on Amazon, but before I wasn't able to do that on eBay. I don't know if I would order anything on here because it's not secure. But if you did want to order something, I'm pretty sure you could do it. Yeah, this website is functional, but it's very, very slow. Let me try to open up a multiple number of web websites. It is really, really struggling. 100%. Okay, that's pretty much it for this test. So what can you do with a computer that is 21 years old? Well, it's not recommended, like I said. It's, it's not secure because the operating system is no longer supported. And you shouldn't be doing this. But uh, this was just an experiment to see what, it, what a 21-year-old uh, computer could do. And plus, there's, like I said, there's nothing in here that's important. So I don't care. So that's why I did this test. I just wanted to see. So you could browse websites, yes. Can you browse everything in every website? No, you can't. As you saw on eBay, I wasn't able to uh, see the pictures and stuff on eBay. But on Amazon, it was okay. But uh, and you can't really stream anything. But as you saw earlier, when I tried to connect to YouTube, I need a more modern internet browser, and I cannot update. I cannot download the latest version of. Mozilla Firefox or any internet browser because this operating system isn't supported so you can't you can't stream videos with it but can, can I play uh, DVD movies with it yes I can yes I can play DVD movies if I wanted to I could play retro games with this computer Windows XP games but uh, for the internet um, it's still possible 
which is amazing to see. So if you have any thoughts or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.